I would like to thank President Biden for this kind invitation to participate in the Summit for Democracy and for this meaningful initiative. Over the last few years, the world has radically changed. The pandemic first and the Russia's brutal aggression against Ukraine afterwards have shattered our life. These two major events have posed unprecedented challenges and new threats to our democratic institutions. Democracy shouldn't be taken for granted. It is the result of a constant and joint effort. It is a tough job, a job in which I do strongly believe. Italy stands up today to reaffirm the importance of the rule of law and the protection of human rights. Together with Europe and like-minded partners and allies, we have proved to be united in a spirit of solidarity towards Ukraine. And I am proud of Italy's contribution to support Ukraine's effort to fight for its freedom and independence. The Summit for Democracy is a great opportunity to work together also to reverse the storytelling about the efficiency of the authoritarian regimes. There is no trade-off between efficiency and freedom. We should not renounce to dialogue and share different opinions in the name of efficiency. I believe that democracies can reach better results according to our principles and respecting our values. It takes time, but it's uh, uh, worth and together we can absolutely make it. Throughout the year of action 2022, Italy has developed several initiatives. We are fully and constantly committed to the defense against authoritarianism, the fight against corruption and criminal organizations, the defense against disinformation and promotion of human rights. In this last field, I want to mention our efforts to ensure that freedom of religion or beliefs come to a major role when defining international cooperation agreements. Democracies have to face other new challenges. I'm thinking, for example, to digital and ecological transition. We need to foster a sense of shared responsibility among international organizations, governments, institutions, and the private sector to create mechanisms in which digital innovation and technological progress ensure that human beings remain central in the decision-making process. We participate actively in different international fora. We are located one point 4 billion of euro to support developing countries. At national level, our investment in this sector is the most relevant with projects of billions of euros. In our view, this can be decisive also in order to preventing irregular flows of economic migrants enriching inhuman smugglers and organized crime. More than our commitment today, our action will define and shape our society. As President Biden reminded us during the first summit, inaction is not an option. In fact, the costs of inaction are often much, much greater than any commitment we can make. Let's be engaged. We owe it to future generations. Thank you.